You've got questions, I've got answers. Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, answering the questions that new leaders ask us frequently. Our goal is to help all leaders be more productive, successful, and confident. And today's question is about distance and how much of it leaders should create. Are you ready? Let's get started. So here's the question that we received. Do you see the need to maintain some type of distance between a leader and followers? Well, it's a common question. It's a good question. It's a question that applies to all of us, but it's commonly asked of new leaders because their, their relationships are changing, right? So it's especially important for uh, us as new leaders to be thinking about it. I want to reframe the question just a little bit, though. I don't think it's as much about distance as it is about definition and about difference. Now, I should also probably say that from my perspective, it is perfectly fine, logical, perhaps even natural to have people that are your followers who may also be your friend. Now, different people have different context that they use the word friends. Hey, let me say this, that there are people that work for me, that follow me, that I consider to be friends. And yet our relationship is different than it would be if they didn't work with me in with me as their leader. So here are the things that we need to do as a new leader to think about this, because if you've been through this promotion, then this this difference is happening, but we got to talk about it. So the first thing is definition. Talk about the definition of the roles. My role has now changed compared to yours. Let's talk about what that looks like and how it impacts our relationship. We need to talk about that definition. Then we need to talk about what's different. Things can't be quite the same as they used to be. We can still be close. We can still have a very good, strong friendship, but the thing that's different now is some things we used to talk about you may not want to talk to me about because I'm the boss, because I can't take my boss hat off. We need to talk about that difference, and once we get that difference clear, we got a much better chance of success. See, the thing is we have to have this as an intentional conversation. Too often, leaders don't have these conversations because they're uncomfortable, or perhaps they didn't even think that they ought to have them, and then what ends up happening is we end up getting distance. Either because the new leader thinks they're supposed to have it, sort of the, the nugget underneath the, the kernel of the question that was asked, or because we ignore it, distance happens because we didn't do anything. So either I try to create it or it happens as a result of me not doing anything to minimize it. I think that we can be close. I think that we can be friends, but I think our goal should not to be friends. I think our goal should be to create strong working relationships. I think our goal should be to maintain and build trust. I think our goal should be to have clear expectations about roles and responsibilities. And if we do those things, distance isn't really the word I'd encourage you to think about. It's more about understanding the definitions recognizing the differences. And when both parties understand that, the odds of us still being able to have a, a super strong working relationship and perhaps even a friendship is very high. And all of that being said, as a leader, remember, you still may get invited to a few less barbecues than you used to. Let me close with today's tweet. Recognizing the difference between a leader and their followers doesn't have to create distance. Now, I hope that this answer today helped you. A little bit of clarity about how we arrange ourselves in relationships with our team members. I hope it's been helpful. If it has been for you, and if you have others that might find it valuable, I hope you'll share with them through the magic of social media or copy and paste or however you want to do that. But most of all, what I hope is if it was helpful to you, that you will take advantage of the other resources here on the Bud2Boss.com site because here you'll find a whole smattering of other free resources as well as paid resources to help you make that transition, to help the leaders in your organization make the transition successfully from individual contributor to successful leader, to truly make the transition from bud to boss. Thanks so much for being with us, and I look forward to seeing you as I answer another question real soon.